Decades before the name Kardashian became synonymous with reality TV, the late Robert Kardashian made headlines as the part of the legal dream team that helped O.J. Simpson receive a not guilty verdict for the murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and Ron Goldman. Barbara, you interviewed uh, Kardashian in 1996, one year after the verdict. And here to help us look back, please welcome Robert Kardashian's former wife of 11 years, Kris Jenner. about the present before we go into the past. Okay. Can we do that? Yes. So, um, you and Bruce have been separated for a while. You're for a few friends. months, okay. yes, but we uh, remain. That's what, how's it, how's it going? friends. Well, you know, it's good. I think every, every once in a while, everyone needs a little bit of a break. And so we took a break because we were driving each other, I think, a little nutty. And, um, but we, we talk 12 times a day and things are good and we're working it out. We'll figure it out sooner or later. I think when you've yeah. been married 23 years, everyone knows that people do have their ups and downs and you know, that's, we're just going through a rough patch. I think. wish you the best. You Thank you. Been there and done that Whatever and I have the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go back to what yeah. we're talking about here. Uh, you say you were married to Robert Kardashian yes. for 11 years, mm -hmm. four kids together, uh, Courtney, Kim, Chloe, and Robert. But So Robert had known O.J. Simpson. You guys were all friends with O.J. and Nicole. All four of you were the best right. of friends. We were really good family friends and the kind of friends that you spend every holiday together and go on family vacations together. And I was there when she had kids and she was there when I gave birth. And, you know, it's like really close-knit. Um, friends and was close with each other's children all through the years. So you and I talked at that time because yeah, we, we were very all you know as a journalist we were we were very involved in the whole story. And Nicole called you the day before she was murdered. You and mm -hmm. I talked about it then. What did she say to you? She um, at that time wanted to meet with me. Um, and said it was very important and she had something to show me and talk to me about and wanted it to be very private. Did you know that that she was nervous about OJ? She was, you know. This she had, told you that? Yeah, she had told me that. And I, I figured that it had something to do with that but didn't know quite what. And the two of us were raising small children too, so it was hard to find time in the mornings. We would drop our kids off to go to school and then we would go on a jog or something or run and so that particular day we decided to have lunch and and you know that morning i got the call from her mom the next morning she, saying that you know she had she'd been killed yeah yeah so i uh, i mean this must have been as i can i can remember because i'm trying to bring myself back to when you and i talked about it at first you you know didn't believe that oj could have done it but you were you you were so close to Nicole, what was your feeling? I think that when something like that happens, you know, that day, our, all, there were so many people that were affected by what happened because we loved her so much and knew that they had a very volatile relationship. So you'd never want to think the worst about your friends. You've been friends with these people your whole life. And they have little, little children that mm -hmm. didn't know when now are these beautiful right. grown girls. And I had known him since I was 17 years old. So, you know, it was quite a long relationship that I had over the years. And leading up uh, to the arrest, uh, O.J. was staying with Robert at the house, and O.J. was talking about committing suicide. Uh, I want to take a look at this clip. Later, you walk back in this room, and Simpson is here, and it's just the two of you. What happened then? O.J. was sitting right where you are, Barbara, and as I walked in the room, I saw him looking at pictures of Sidney and Justin his and children. Nicole. Mm -hmm. They were in his lap. But I also saw, wrapped in a towel, a gun. I didn't know what to make of it. I was stunned. I came in and I knelt right where I am now. I knelt on the ground and I took his hands and I said, OJ, let's pray. I prayed that God would show him what path to take. And after I was done praying, he said, I'm going to kill myself. In the book, it says you said to him, you can't kill yourself. This is my daughter's room. I said, OJ, you, I could never walk in this room. My daughter couldn't sleep in this bed. She'd know what happened here. So your kids are in this house. Mm -hmm. 
He's got we a gun. custody of the kids yeah. because we had been divorced, and um, they spent, you know, quite a bit of time over there. They they were back and forth between the two houses, so it was a crazy situation. And did you know about all this? You know this is going on. OJ had a gun. He was talking about suicide. And I didn't know about that until oh. later because you know we didn't talk about every little thing that that happened moment by moment. Yeah. But as you can see, Robert really had his hands full. You know, there was a lot going on, and when something like this happens, that was his best friend. And he, and he was part of the legal team, uh, not intimately a part of it, but he was there every day during He was that there, time. and I think he was there. A lot of it was to be a support system for O.J. Do your girls remember any of this? Oh, yeah. We've talked about it. You know, I think that the thing that they remember is just being, at the time, so confused because you're... You know, parents are on different sides of a crazy situation, and this is Uncle O.J. and Auntie Nicole, yeah. and people that they yeah, had grown up with. Robert Kardashian and myself, and you, you, you because you felt that O.J. was guilty, and Robert I just felt, felt, felt like uh, my loyalty was with Nicole and her family, uh -huh. and and Robert um, was there for his friend, like he thought he should be at the time. Before Barbara's interview. Uh, Robert had always publicly stood by O.J.'s side and believed his innocence. However, when he talked to Barbara, he revealed for the first time his reaction to the verdict and if, in the end, he had any doubts that O.J. was a murderer. Take a look. What was your reaction to the verdict? That morning, I got to the, to the court a little early. O.J. was in his cell, and I prayed with him at that time. And I prayed to God, not that this man be set free, but that thy will be done. Only you know, God, what has happened here. Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A. Mr. Kardashian, do you now doubt O.J. Simpson's innocence? Barbara, if I were on the jury today on this civil trial, because of the reasonable doubt, I would vote not guilty. That is not what I asked you. I asked you if you yourself doubt O.J. Simpson's innocence. I have doubts. Why? The blood evidence is the biggest thorn in my side that causes me the greatest problems. Uh, so I... I struggle with the blood evidence. Mm. Wow. God, wow. that's back. That was powerful. That whole time. Mm. I think everybody talked about that interview that you did, Barbara, for... I know it's silly to say, you so are so long. good at what you do. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a silly thing to say now, but wow. That was... That gives me chills to watch. Um, were you shocked when he gave you that admission? Um, yes, but, um... I, I just sometimes people ask me for advice young journalists and and watching that because i hadn't seen the clip before don't be afraid to say you didn't answer my question yeah that that, that, that that's that's my word of you know sometimes we sometimes we don't take a yes for an answer that took guts though i i remember talking to to oj because uh, he kept he kept calling people right. i never did an interview with him because he wanted to get paid and we didn't pay i uh, wait we i'm didn't, not getting paid for this <laughs> we didn't pay him for this oh. interview, and I don't. I did not pay you for this interview. You are not being paid for this interview. He wouldn't he give was, an interview to you because no, he wanted to get paid for it. Paid. And Robert died of uh, esophageal cancer back in yes. 2003. Yes. Um, and, and we found out, and then I think it was eight weeks later he passed. Man. It was really um, a hard time. In, in his last days, did he ever mm -hmm. reveal anything about the case, OJ, any of that? You know what, we really never spoke about it again uh, in, in great detail. I think that he, he, he was such an amazing man and so decent and such a good friend. And he was such a great dad. And, and I think that's what he showed me through all of it, at the lesson that he taught all of us, is the loyalty. To you, my friend, Chris, good to see you. Thank you for sitting down and sharing this Thank with us. You. Thank you very Talk much. To you.